Welcome sa SIP na hindi natin. This video, tutuloy natin ang ating series about uh, trigonometry. No? Uh, dito sa video na to, ay may introduce tayo na mga special triangles. No? So, kung, kung pinanood niyo yung previous videos natin, ang pinag-aralan natin was about uh, trigonometric ratios no? of uh, right triangles. Now, dito, uh, mag-introduce tayo ng dalawang special right triangles. No? The first triangle, uh, can be obtained by drawing a diagonal no? doon sa isang square and the second triangle can be obtained by um, drawing a perpendicular bisector sa isang equilateral triangle. No? So yung square natin, uh, meron tayong uh, side length na one unit no? in yung ating special triangle. And syempre, pag one unit yung ating uh, uh, sides ng triangle na to. Let's name, name, name this triangle ABC. And yung second uh, right triangle natin, pwede natin siguro i-name as PQR. No? PQR. Uh, I uh, can be obtained, sabi natin, uh, by uh, dropping a, or by drawing a perpendicular bisector um in an equilateral triangle. So, pag equilateral yan, uh, ano yung mga properties? Anyway, we discuss natin this isa na. Let's start with the square. Now, um, pag nag draw tayo ng diagonal, what's the length of the diagonal? We have a right triangle and we, have, we want to find the length of diagonal AB. So, uh, ano kaya yung theorem yung maalala nyo para compute natin yung diagonal? So, alam natin si Pythagorean theorem, di ba? So, if we let the, the diagonal be C, so, by Pythagorean theorem, we have C squared equals A squared plus B squared, where A and B are the shorter legs no, of the right triangle. Uh, in this case, yung shorter legs natin, parehong 1. So, 1 squared plus 1 squared, syempre 1 squared is 1, 1 squared is 1, meaning 2 siya. So, C squared is equal to 2. And uh, to get C, we um, get the square root. No? C squared equals 2. We get the square root of C squared and we get the square root of 2. Square root of C squared is equal to C. And of course, the square root of 2 as is Meaning the length of AB is square root of 2. Now, another uh, properties so, sa mga properties yung measure ng angles, no? And uh, I think we can start with uh, dito sa angle na to, angle C. Alam natin na ang square, ang kanyang angle ay 90 degrees, no? Angles ay 90 degrees, lahat ng angles. No? And alam din natin that the diagonal uh, bisects these angles, no? These angles um, in the two, no? So, since 90 yan, ibig sabihin, 45 degrees to. And 45 degrees din to. Okay? So, ibig sabihin, this is a 45-45-90 triangle. So, usually, sa mga books, tawag natin dyan ay, sa special triangle na yun ay 45. This is a 45-45-90 uh, triangle. So, pwede, actually, pwede na natin burahin to kasi ganun siya kailangan. Just have to carefully, carefully do it. Compare that. Okay. Okay. So, tignan naman natin yung isa na isa pang special uh, triangle natin. So, if this is two and this is a perpendicular base sector, ibig sabihin pag perpendicular base sector, din divide niya tong tong uh, side nito into two, no? So, since two rin ito, kasi equilateral triangle ito, meaning this is one. This is one unit. And again, with the Pythagorean theorem, pwede na natin kunin tong side na to. And this time, ang C natin ay 2. Yun yung ating uh, hypotenuse. So, C squared equals A squared plus B squared. Uh, ang C natin ay 2. So, this is 2 squared equals, pari, ito yung A natin, A squared. This is 1 squared plus B squared. So, 4 is equal to 1 plus B squared. 
1 squared is 1, 2 squared is 4. So, magma minus 1 tayo from both sides. So, 4 minus 1 equals... 4 minus 1 is 3 na lang. Diretso na natin. So, 3 is equal to... Mawawala na to kasi magma minus 1 tayo. So, this is p squared. And to get the value of b, we, uh, we get the square root of both sides. Square root of 3, meaning b is equal to square root of 3. Okay. So, ibig sabihin, itong part na to is square root of 3. Okay, so yan yung ating second. Oh, dapat burahin na natin. So, ganito kailangan yung ulit. Okay, so this is our second special triangle. So, ano pa, ano ang properties nito? Yung mga angle naman, kumari. Yung mga interior angles niya. What are the measures? Anong alam natin? Alam natin na ang Galing siya sa equilateral triangle. So, obviously, this is 60 degrees. So, naalala nyo ba, Gobinura, equilateral yan, di ba? So, syempre, pag equilateral triangle, yung ating uh, mga angles ay, interior angles ay 60 degrees lahat yan. Alam din natin, nasabi natin kanya, this is a perpendicular base sector. So, pag perpendicular base sector, pag perpendicular siya sa isang segment, ibig sabihin, 90 degrees ito. Diba? Yun ang definition ng perpendicularity. Pag 90 ito, tsaka 60 ito, ano ito? So, alam din natin that uh, the, the angle sum of a triangle or the sum of its interior angles is equal to 180 degrees. So, may 90 ka, may 60 ka, meron ka ng 150. Ilan dito para makabuka ng 180? So, this is 30 degrees. Now, ito yung pangalawang uh, triangle natin na special. Ang tawag natin dyan ay 30, 60, 90. Anong, anong mong kinalaman nito doon sa, o anong mong connection nito sa pinag-aaralan natin. Ang mga angles na yan ay uh, special kasi madalas silang uh, lumalabas sa mga problems o even sa mga practical applications. No? So, kaya siguro sila tinawag na special triangles. Uh, tatlong angles ang importante dito, yung 45, yung 30, tsaka yung 60. Kasi yung 90, hindi naman natin kayo kuha yung, yung mga ratios yan, trigometric ratios. No? But yung 30, 60, tsaka 45, kukuhin natin yan. Ano ba ang sign ng 45? Ano ba ang cotangent ng 30 degrees? Ano ba ang uh, secant ng 60 degrees? Okay, so yan yung mga, uh, yan yung susunod natin na video. Uh, yung table, uh, trigonometric table of special triangles automatic ratios of special triangles. Okay, that's it. Alam, at least alam nyo kung saan ang galing itong mga triangles na ito at kung ano yung kanilang uh, properties. Uh, bago tayo mag-end, gusto ko yung invite sa ating uh, Facebook page, facebook.com slash ph and gusto ko yung gusto ko rin kayong invite na mag-subscribe sa ating YouTube channel, youtube.com slash user slash ph uh, Maraming salamat. See you in the next video.